Today MTD CNC have returned to the home of Brown and Holmes to check out a new product to your portfolio, the new Paisler rotary table range. Now, Mark, tell us about this range and tell us why you've introduced this range of rotary table to your ever-growing portfolio of work holding solutions. Um, well, we've decided to add uh, Paisley units to, uh, to our range because of the quality, the accuracy, um, and the, the cost point that you get all of those aspects uh, in. Um, the ATC units are what we would consider as standard fourth axis units. Um, they can be used in the, the vertical or the horizontal uh, um, uh, attitude, depending on how you want them set up on your machine tool. Very similar to a lot of other competitors. Um, the nice thing about the ATC units is that they are a modular design. So uh, that means that we can have the motor uh, or motor and gearbox and, and encoders either on the left hand side or the right hand side, depending on your setup. Um, the unit that we see here is an ATC 160. Um, the, uh, the designation of the unit doesn't indicate the faceplate size, which might confuse some people. Um, but uh, it's, it's a nice compact unit. Uh, this version has the uh, 4 plus 1 rotary manifold on there, so if we want to get services through uh, the, uh, uh, the, the rotary uh, table, then that's, uh, that gives us that facility. So, for example, if we were putting on an auto, auto fixture, very similar to sort of the, the, the trunnions that Brown and Holmes are quite renowned for. Now, it's a very impressive unit. I mean, what really strikes me to start with, Mark, is the compactness of this unit, the footprint of the unit. It's a very small casting. Um, mm. Tell us about, you know, it's a German manufactured rotary table. Tell us about the casting of the rotary table to start with and the rigidity of it. Um, well, it's, it's a nice solid casting, like you can see. Um, it's uh, it's, it's a, a good, strong body of, of a unit. Um, all machined nice and accurately. Um, the, 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 one of the main features with regards to uh, the ATC unit and a lot of the other Paisley units is the, is the worm, and, uh, worm and wheel. Um, so uh, Paisley use a split worm um, with a, uh, like a progressive form on the wheel which means that there is more engagement on, on, the, on the actual gear. Um, this gives a, a better solution for anti-backlash. Um, Having the split worm as well means that the backlash can be set to pretty much zero. So these are very high accuracy units. Um, they're also available in sort of uh, different aspects. So we can have them with hydraulic clamping or pneumatic clamping. Um, we can have a choice of motors, so Fanacor Siemens or a customer supplied motor. Um, they can also be supplied with different accuracy of encoders as well. So we can have a, a faceplate encoder which gives a higher accuracy for more simultaneous fourth or fifth, fifth axis applications. And what kind of accuracy are you, are you talking about, Mark? Um, with the additional encoders, we're looking at uh, plus or minus five seconds. So it's very accurate. And now that can go in a little bit further as well with a more high accuracy to two and a half uh, seconds as well. So it, it's obvious then that it's very accurate, but with this small footprint, have you still got the rigidity that you may need for you know the hard materials, heavy applications? Yeah, very much so. I mean, the, the bearing arrangement and the uh, and the, 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 the square structure of the of the casting, uh, the the minimal machining to ensure that the body of the casting is is rigid, gives you a good solid uh, fourth axis unit. Um, and, and they, they also come with uh, additional uh, tail stocks, so we can order them in a WATC version. And the tail stocks, or counter bearings as such, uh, can either be an additional faceplate with a brake or a traditional live centre tail stock. Now, it's very impressive stuff. Tell us about the rotary joint at the back and, and, and why you've got the rotary joint at the back, and tell us how easy it is to interface it with the machine tool. Okay, so um, on this unit we've got a four plus one, which means that we've got four hydraulic feeds and then one air feed. Um, what we tend to find is that is an ideal solution, especially for automatic fixtures, clamping, unclamping, and then you've got the air for air sensing of parts. Um, these are uh, retrofitable, so if you've got a standard table and then you wanted to add a rotary unit, we can uh, add a, a rotary unit too. 
um, and it facilitates our uh, style of fixturing, say if we're building a trunnion um, and we want to have some auto fixtures on the top of there. So it really kind of works well with the rest of your, your product portfolio in regards to the special solutions that you also offer? Yeah, very much so. I mean, we, we can supply these as a bolt-on unit to a machine tool supplier. They can integrate them into their control. Um, or we can supply them with the correct interfaces, standalone interfaces as well if it's an older machine tool. Um, or we can put them in as a, as a whole turnkey solution. So I'm looking at a, an application at the moment with a, a large unit, uh, a non-standard uh, Paisley unit, but a, a, a beautiful large unit with a manual steady and a, a, a tailstock at the end so that the customer can mount that to and from his bed in a whole lift-off application, reduce setup times, etc., which everyone seems to be very interested in at the moment. Mark, absolutely brilliant, and thank you very much for the in-depth review on the new Paisler rotary tables Pleasure. that are now available from Brown and Holmes. Thank you. Mm -hmm.